in the beginning, we come into the world and we come in in a state of amnesia. We have forgotten where we came from beyond this life, that timeless state of relationship from which we came. We lose that so that we can be here and function as a human being in this one life. And so we are born to a family in a place and from day one the conditioning begins. And we are shaped, as we must be, to function here according to the values and um, greater goals of our society, of perhaps our religion, and certainly of our family. And we go through these many, many, many stages of shaping and conditioning and reshaping and reconditioning, learning at every level, really having to learn how to become a human being. Because beyond this life, that's not what we were. We were something else. And that is really actually what we're journeying back to through this life. And we'll speak more about that. But to come into the world, we lose that. We lose touch with that true and natural identity. And we take on a human identity. And we become someone with a name, someone with a face, um, someone with a set of qualities that others like or don't like, and we accentuate that to get the reward of approval and relationship, money, success, everything. And we take on the greater aspirations and goals of those around us. Our mind is constantly taking in everything from the mental environment, from the social environment, the religious environment, telling us what we need to be, to do, and to have to be successful and fulfilled in this life. And by and large, we pursue that. We um, take in those unquestioned dictates of culture and society, and we make them our own, and we act them out, and we see where they take us. And for many people, that is where they are right now. They are in the world, living out these unquestioned assumptions, these unquestioned values, um, with great fervor and great um, devotion, attempting to gain the sense of security and fulfillment mm -hmm. and deeper satisfaction mm -hmm. that they do truly yearn for at the deepest level, seeking those out in everything that the world has taught them to, to think and to do. And so you could say that by and large we are asleep in the world, seeking security and happiness and fulfillment of the things of this world, in the things of this world, until we reach a certain point. And that certain point on the larger timeline of our life is what we're going to speak about. And that is the awakening. That is the moment when the shell built and layered over decades cracks and can't fully be put back together. And something within the shell then begins to emerge. <laughs>